as Darth Bane explained within the Book of Sith to all Dark Lords who would join his new order within the era of the Rule of Two, the act of selecting and taking an apprentice was the most important act for the Sith Order. For Bane, the Sith Order was a lineage, and without new apprentices to carry it on, the Order would decline into nothing. For this reason, Bane suggested that it might be most beneficial to the Sith to locate apprentices who hadn't yet been discovered and trained by the Jedi, as not only would they then be free of Jedi teachings and corruption, but it would be easier to mold the minds of young apprentices. This is advice that Darth Sidious would have certainly seen when he was in possession of Bane's writings within the Book of Sith. And yet, despite the fact that Sidious knew he would ultimately take Anakin as his Sith apprentice in the immediate aftermath of the events of the Phantom Menace, the Dark Lord wasn't merely satisfied to wait until Anakin was older to begin his training, but he was accepting and really all too happy to have Anakin trained as a Jedi before joining the Sith. In this video expose, we'll look at why Sidious saw it as extremely valuable for Anakin to be trained within the Jedi Order before he took him as his apprentice, defying the wisdom of Bane in seeing that what the founder of the Rule of Two believed was Jedi corruption was actually the key to solidifying his position within the Sith Order. Sidious's view in this regard was defined by an important understanding that separated the Sith Order in the era of Bane and that of the era comprising Plagueis, Sidious, and Dooku. While Bane had seen value in following a Jedi conception when taking apprentices, seeing apprentices as easier to mold and mentor when they were young, Sidious had come to accept that the opposite was true. As the Darth Plagueis novel reveals, Sidious had come to adopt practices that opposed the Jedi Order, recognizing that even if he wanted to begin Anakin's training immediately after he was located on Tatooine, he was far too young to be trained in the ways of the Sith. The primary reason for the change in Sith doctrine regarding when an apprentice was best introduced to the dark side is seen in the words of Dooku within the Labyrinth of Evil novel. As Dooku understood, while it was still available to train Sith as Darth Bane suggested, history had shown, particularly for Dooku himself, that training in the dark side was far more valuable when the apprentice had already become disillusioned, angry, and vengeful. Therefore, Sidious was motivated by this type of thinking as well, seeing the Sith Order had evolved for the better when taking older apprentices, allowing them to drop the shackles of compassion and mercy for themselves before embracing the dark side. Although this explains why Sidious was able to accept that he needed to wait for Anakin to become older to begin his training as a Sith, it doesn't exactly get to the heart of the matter regarding why he was pleased to see Anakin trained as a Jedi during his early years. This would seem almost counterintuitive, or at the very least, an enormous risk. As Bane recognized a millennium earlier, there was a chance Anakin could become corrupted by the Jedi, becoming a true warrior of the light, making it impossible to ever bring him to the dark side in the future. However, as Sidious would explicitly state in his On Selecting Apprentices entry in the Jedi vs. Sith The Essential Guide to the Force, his approach after Episode 1 was not a calculated risk or a prideful exercise in wishful thinking. As Sidious recognized when meeting Anakin for the first time after the events of Episode 1 within his office on Coruscant, the Dark Lord of the Sith knew then there would be no risk of it ultimately being impossible to bring Anakin to the dark side. Unlike Obi-Wan, Sidious sensed an unmistakable fury simmering within Anakin, even as he was only beginning his path with the Jedi. As Sidious studied him, he knew Anakin would never be alleviated of his need to challenge authority. And even more important, Anakin had a gift for masking his true emotions, meaning the Jedi wouldn't have the opportunity to help him in this regard, even if they wanted to. Therefore, this formed the basis for why Sidious wanted Anakin to be trained specifically by the Jedi Order before he joined the Sith. The Dark Lord didn't just want Anakin to become disillusioned, angry, or vengeful, as Dooku recognized was so important within older apprentices. No, Sidious wanted all of these powerful emotions to be aimed directly at the Jedi themselves. Sidious knew that if Anakin was trained by the Jedi, he would be made to grow embittered by the Order itself, pushing him deeper into the dark side. As Sidious stated in his On Selecting Apprentices entry, there would be no need to train an apprentice to hate the Jedi when the Jedi could do it for you. There were three primary reasons Sidious pointed to that would make it inevitable that Anakin would grow to become embittered by the Jedi Order. First, he would be forced to watch his mother Shmi grow old in slavery upon Tatooine. Second, he would have to accept the galaxy deteriorating around him through the machinations of Sidious. And finally, he knew Anakin would struggle with attachment as he was made to watch his fellow Jedi fall during the conflicts they were forced into by Sidious. 
Being made to accept these events, and with Anakin believing he had the power to put an end to them, Sidious knew the so-called Chosen One would be pushed into conflict with the Jedi Order itself. Sidious was also confident in this regard through the example he had of himself, which both he and his master Plagueis recognized. During the 17 years Sidious had lived before meeting Plagueis, the innate fury within him was allowed to simmer and fester, not weaponized or unleashed through Sith training or an understanding of the dark side. Because Sidious hadn't been trained until he was older, the fact that he had to repress and hide all of his rage, emotions, and crimes, Sidious was made far more dangerous as his fury festered within him, becoming toxic to anyone who dared to come close enough to it. This fury would eventually explode when Sidious brutally murdered his entire family, and Plagueis recognized that this process made Sidious an ally and apprentice of unspeakable potential. Sidious clearly recognized a touch of his former self within Anakin, prior to when Sidious became Plagueis' apprentice. In the same way as Sidious's life proceeded in his early years, he was happy to let Skywalker's rage and fury simmer beneath the surface for a decade. And it wasn't that Sidious would be completely passive during this period either. Instead of playing the role of Sith Master, he would simply act as Anakin's father figure, someone who the Jedi could confide in when listening to all of the troubles Anakin was experiencing. In this way, Sidious would be able to coax him over to the dark side, and prey upon the inexperience of Obi-Wan in regard to his mentorship. For all of these reasons then, Sidious was completely confident Anakin being trained by the Jedi was a massive advantage for the Sith Order. Anakin was far too young to begin his training with the dark side, and thus Sidious could focus on taking Dooku as his apprentice in the meantime, to continue manipulating the galaxy in furtherance of the Sith Grand Plan. But eventually, in being trained by the Jedi, Sidious knew Anakin would ultimately be made to hate the Order as his rage and unrestrained power simmered beneath the surface, making it only a matter of time until he accepted the dark side. So there we have it, why Sidious wanted Anakin to be trained as a Jedi before joining the Sith. Thank you very much to all of the Patreon members of Star Wars Reading Club, as your support is so greatly appreciated. If you'd like to support us on Patreon, you can find a link to it in the description below, along with all of our social media links and a link to our Star Wars gaming channel. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions. Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. If not for me... For placeholders.